it's Lisa. Do you ever find yourself saving some of your products and things for just that perfect page? Or even techniques, things that you really like to use but for some reason you just don't do them as much? <laughs> I um, This month for April I am celebrating a big birthday. So I decided to do some of my favorite things and pick things that I might have been saving up for some reason. Um, or at least that's what my first layout is going to be. This is actually a technique in or a layout style, I should say, and that's a grid style. I really like the grid style. I like seeing other people's projects in this. I've really liked the pages that I have made, but I just don't do it very often for some reason. So I think the reason mainly is that it, it, your photos need to be cropped in squares, and I don't typically do that. I crop um, to kind of decide what size I'm going to use my photos when I send them to print, and I'm printing on 4 by 6s near almost always. So a, a rectangular shape, whether it's a smaller version or larger or the typical 4 by 6 size, is what I end up with. Well, this time I happened to do five uh, square photos, so I thought this was a perfect time to do the grid. The reason I like the grid is I like having these little squares to add some additional embellishment to and I just I just find the arrangement really um, attractive. For my grid I'm going to be working on some craft card stock from Michaels because it goes beautifully with some brand new papers. I haven't exactly been saving these. Um, I just had this is the first layout I've had where they really uh, uh, worked out I thought. This is the Mon Ami collection from Kelly Perky uh, for uh, Basic Gray. And there's a lot of things in here that look really good color-wise. I like that floral. Um, and also with the theme, uh, what I'm doing here, these um, little, there's little houses. Because these photos were taken actually last fall. When I do Project Life, and I did this last year, I take a photo every day, or try to, and I don't necessarily scrap them in the Project Lifestyle. I do them more traditional. Well, one week last fall, I took photos, or had my husband take photos, of me, just my hands, the things that I do, so to kind of show a typical week, but from the perspective of busy hands. So that's going to be my title for the page. I didn't get seven photos, so that works out fine, so it gives me more little squares uh, to fill in with uh, other interesting things. Usually when I do a grid page, I put something between the squares. A lot of times I do stitching. I have a grid layout in the two-page um, class that I have called Two Page Terrific, and we do stitching on it, and I talk about ways to connect the stitching way and different uh, tips and techniques for stitching on pages. However, um, this time I've decided just to have my squares by themselves. I'm not going to put anything, no, no stitching, no washi tape, no lines, nothing between them. To ground the layout though, I'm going to put something around the edges, and that's what this is. Uh, I'm planning to use a stencil. I think this is going to be the best stencil uh, from Crafters Workshop for just adding a little bit of interest around the edges. After I pick out my papers, I'll decide what color. I think I want this pretty subtle. I don't think I want it to really stand out, but I might, so uh, we'll leave that stenciling until uh, a little bit later on in the project. I do have some lettering options. I know I'm going to be using some red and some a couple of different blue letters. This is a really old one from Basic Gray, but it goes with the Mon Ami collection pretty well. So, I think the first step here is going to be to pick out which of those papers that I want to use and maybe get some ideas on embellishment. Because in addition to the 6x6 pad, I also have a couple, just a couple, of the 12x12s. And one of them, I picked it for this side, However, it has these little cards, the normal 3x4 size cards. Some of these could be cut down in 3x3, three three, which is the size of my uh, photos. I really like that one. Actually, some of these could easily be cut down uh, to the 3x3 three three side. I, I'm, I'm still stuck on this one. Let's see. If I cut that to 3x3, three three, I'd be cutting off the bottoms of these flowers, but I don't think that would hurt anything. So I'm going to pull together my papers and kind of get those picked out next. So I've picked out a few papers and I have my title here. I just need one more paper to go in the middle there for the title to rest on. Considered that gold, but I already have some gold at the bottom. I'm really surprised at how well this stripe is working. Especially if I run it horizontally so the letters can just kind of lay across the top of there. I'm going to end up switching and putting the green in the middle uh, for the word busy and then uh, hands can go across uh, both papers. 
I did use one of those 3 by 4 cards, so I'll be trimming that down. And then around the edge, I decided that I wanted to keep this somewhat neutral. I'm going to use the blue. Um, if I used a red or something, I think that would really stand out a lot. The blue I've picked is not quite navy ink from Stamping Up. It really goes well with the um, colors in this collection. And I'm applying it with a sponge, and that gives me a lot of control rather than using a spray ink. I like this stencil because it can be turned different directions, and you can um, you know, use it part of the way, like I'm going to do here. I need to actually end up extending it a little bit further up, so it's easy just to match up and go a little bit further up and down the page to make um, a longer design. All right, I think I need a little something extra though around the edge because that blue is standing out a little bit more than I wanted it to. So I'm looking at some different washi tapes to go over the top. I looked at this red. This is from My Mind's Eye Cut and Paste collection. It's a new tape to me, and I think it's just too bright. And then I've got the gold and the brownish color there. One of the other tapes that came with Cut and Paste was this wood grain, and that would give me a nice neutral finish never had a wood grain washi tape and it's really pretty. Just a little extra texture there to lay over the uh, stamped area. I tried a couple more things and I decided to go ahead and use the wood grain. I'm leaving those other colors out though in case I decide I need a little bit additional color. And I'm just going to wrap this around the edges. You know, I tried some of the yellow and all, but I'll just set those aside and maybe come back to them later on. Now it's time to start placing these. Usually with a grid, I put something between the rows, like lines or stitching. But this time I decided I just, uh, I wouldn't put anything between them. I didn't really feel like they needed it. But I did feel like my grid mat from Basic Gray would be the way to line all this stuff up good. Um, I mail ordered my grid mat, uh, but I have seen them at AC Moore. And they are a great way to get everything lined up nice and neat. So since I have a three inch grid here, so each thing is three inches, I just measured down one and a half inches from the middle. So basically I came down seven and a half inches from the top of the page and did the first row. And then I've uh, allowed an eighth of an inch, I think, between each of the squares. And that made it fairly easy to get everything lined up nice and neat. got my journaling on strips. This is pretty self-explanatory. didn't need a whole lot of journaling and just adding a little bit of antique linen distress ink around the edges. And I'm going to build a little house over here on the right with some pattern paper. I did a, a wall art piece uh, that I've shown on my blog before and I did those really really precise and I think they would have looked better if I'd done the kind of thing I'm doing here which is just sort of freehand cut them to make them a little more whimsical. So that's what I'm doing here is just uh, taking a few of the papers and uh, making up a little house. I need something for the door. I'm trying a lot of different stickers here. And I liked the love one up there at the top, but the rest of them just didn't quite work out. I do have some strips of pattern paper, though, to kind of finish up some of these little um, squares. And I've got a button down there on one of the flowers. I'm going to do some other flowers with this punch from Stamping Up. It's one of these punches where there's kind of a lot of detail to it, so it works better with designer paper and with cardstock. And these are 
pop drops from October afternoon. They're really cute little things. I've, I've had them a while and I hadn't used them. So I'm going to do a couple of the little hearts with that. And then um, maybe add some more buttons and things as I go along. I do feel like I need to make that house stand out a little bit more with some um, ink. So I'm just adding a little bit of the navy ink around the edges. And then using a gold marker to go around that piece of gold cart uh, designer paper. These six by six, six pads are wonderful for this kind of little cutout pieces because the patterns are so small. I'm going to add a few more buttons here. And then I will sew my buttons on with some. Um, Embroidery floss. I did actually have three buttons that matched, but they were they just kind of stood out a little bit too much. So I decided to do a different color button in each square. We have our page all finished, and my camera cut off on me, and I didn't uh, show just. Uh, putting in these threads. It's just, you know, real straightforward poking the holes through the paper and then um, tying off a knot. And then I put a little bit of glossy accents on them to keep them from uh, unraveling. I decided to go with a tone on tone and just use the same color as each button. So let's look at the sketch. Followed that very closely. I didn't do tags, um, but I used the design that came out of the three by four cards that went with this collection for that. Uh, made up my own little house over here as I'd planned and then these little pop drop, drop hearts in a few places and some punched flowers that kind of bring uh, that grouping together. And I really like how this background came out with the stencil and the washi tape. I did look at these other washi tapes, but they were just too busy. So, or they were, they added too much color. I kind of liked having this neutral and having the, the bolder colors here in the middle of the layout. So once again, I have a gridded page that I really like. So I'm going to have to work harder to do more grid pages because um, they, don't, they don't have to be squares. I mean, you can do rectangles. This could have been one rectangular picture or this could have been a rectangular picture down here. So I could do grids uh, without having to do squares. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you like the uh, video, I hope you'll give me a thumbs up and that helps YouTube, I think, advance my channel a little bit. I have a newsletter that you can subscribe to over on my blog as well as some classes and uh, there's more information about the, all those things on my blog and there's a link in the description for this video. So thanks again for watching and also you can check out the blog for the sketch.